They've gone a long, long way in this Champions League campaign. And while they might be tempted to think about the final, first things first, this semi-final hurdle to clear. It's Inter. They face Porto. And the action comes your way next on EA TV Live. And a very good evening to you. A big night ahead here at the San Siro, or as it's sometimes referred to, the Giuseppe Meazza Stadium. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry, and sharing duties with me today, Stuart Robson. And on the menu, action from Europe's Premier Club competition, the Champions League. This, the first leg of the semi-final. It's Inter facing Porto. Well, Derek, they don't come much bigger than this, do they? This will be a top quality game between two of the best sides in Europe. Let's hope it lives up to its billing. is as follows. Milan Skriniar plays alongside Alessandro Bastoni in central defence. Hakan Chalanolu plays alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today, Lautaro Martinez plays alongside Romelu Lukaku. starting lineup for Porto. Well, it's the basic 4-4-2 formation, but played well, it can be really effective. And key to its success are the wide midfield players. They have to be fit, they need to be able to run with the ball, and they need to double up with their fullbacks. It's a really tough role for them. Underway now in this Champions League semi final first leg. Moving forward effectively. Really important piece of last ditch defending. Strong play here. under some pressure good work to win it back high up the pitch Federico Di Marco pass from Mkhitaryan not sufficiently accurate to win it back the attack continues they're making considerable progress fantastic work to thwart the danger and blocked for now using all his defensive acumen to cut it out Di Marco, splendid tackle and a throw-in coming up. Well, so many reasons to highlight Lautaro Martinez, not least because he can be so effective. Stuart, what do you think we might see from him in this game? Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. 
An effective ball. And under no real pressure as he brought the ball down. Can they forge ahead? Well, what an opportunity squandered. Far too easy for the keeper. Hendrik Mkhitaryan. Brozovic. Fruitful looking attack. Inter have given away possession. Lukaku. Magnificent defending. And offside anyway, albeit a tight one. He's given it straight to the opposition. And that is going to be a free kick. Martinez Romelu Lukaku now the ball with Martinez patient enough build up can they carve out a chance splendid defending and it needed to be Eva Nilsson the ball with Martinez and the keeper did more than enough. <laughs> and how about the short corner? Chalhanolu. And a body in the way. Lukaku. Can he finish? Oh, excellent timing stop. Short corner taken. De Frey. Now Mikitarian. The ball with Martinez. And he's in. And a goal! The opening statement of the semi final. How important can that prove to be? Yeah, here's the setup play. Well, it's a great little back heel, isn't it? And Lukaku does the rest. He hits through the back of the ball with such power. It's a great finish. Underway once again with Inter in front. And behind it goes the concession of a corner here. Can someone get on the end of this? It might still be problematic. Vigorous defending. And a throw in for Porto. Eustachio yeah. 
Brozovic. Excellent vision. Eustachio. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Mateo Suribe. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Played over. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Matteo Damian. The ball with Martinez. Now that pass easy on the eye. Good pressure high up the pitch. Must be! Not out of the woods yet! Not a time for composure on the ball. Well, attacking possibilities for the Nerazzurri. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. Eva Nilsson. Promising attack this. Well, it could be on for him here. And a goal to level this contest. All even. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Back underway, one goal apiece here. <laughs> Henrik Mikitarian showing patience as well as persistence in the build up. Martinez, really vital interception here. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Paremi. Good looking sequence. Spot on with that tackle. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Now the referee letting them continue, but now it's going to be a booking. Well, he tried to play the advantage, but he was always going to come back to that challenge. And there's the delivery. Well, I'm sure he would love to have that opportunity back.
Well, that's going to be all for the first half here at the San Siro. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, that's exactly what his team needed because they weren't at their best in the first half. And once again, it shows what a key player he is. Can they build on that in the second 45? Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Mateo Suribe. Chance to do damage. Uribe. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Can they take the lead? Well, here's the replay, and he's got to clear his lines there. He doesn't do that. He has his pocket picked, and he's been rightly punished. Poor defending. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Brozovic. And teammates to play it to. Lukaku! And a goal! The quick one too! And they turn this game on its head! Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see under so much pressure but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly it's an excellent goal so there it is 3-1 the current scoreline here and very deftly cut out Is it going to end up being productive for them? And players waiting at the far post. Well, I suspected that might be difficult for the keeper, but I was wrong. Well, they know they need to stop him. Physically strong and secure on the ball. Excellent defending. Now can they counter clinically? Skriniar. Now moving the ball impressively here. Mkhitaryan. Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. Short corner favoured. Mkhitaryan. On to Chavanolu. Martinez. And they've given him too much space. Mkhitaryan. 
Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Eustachio. Now, who can he play it to? Oh, fine play. And, oh, he's done it! But hang on, offside is the verdict here. It's not going to stand. Well, you can tell he thought he was onside here, but the assistant, I think, got it absolutely right. Mkhitaryan it's with Chalhanolu giving the ball to the opposition that time well not giving him any breathing room Martinez oh lovely ball oh, no degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper Steven Eustachio Evan Nilsson oh nice ball Eustachio and blocked for now no degree of difficulty at all for the keeper and he was in the right place to intercept and a creative look about this Chalanolu. He's in control of the situation. Lukaku. Lukaku. Chalanolu. Can they prize them open now? It has to be! Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Can someone get on the end of this? Attending to his defensive chores. De Frey. It might be. And there is the goal to make it a hat-trick. Excellence in finishing there for all to see. Here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And what an emphatic strike it is from Lukaku. Hit with his laces, it's a great goal. Well, the ball is rolling again. It's been all into so far, and you sense that there could be extra punishment handed out. Paremi trying to really get at the opposition here a fine reading of the situation Alessandro Bastoni ten minutes left for play Manera Zuri regaining possession Martinez plenty of support here but the danger averted for now can they hit on the break Chalhanolu 
on to Mkhitaryan getting in there to intercept out of play and a Porto throw in coming up so making the substitution now Uribe not to be advised giving the ball away there Grujic well let's see what they have in store for them on the break well they profit from this situation now well, sadly from their point of view it petered out well nicely cut out now what can they do with the ball and support available well it came to nothing in the end and they need to get tighter here well we are going to have a decent amount of stoppage time three minutes to be exact Eva Nilsson. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. <laughs> Played over. And first class defending, cleared off the line. Good pressure, can they make something of this? That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. And yellow it is, a booking. Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. to get a body in the way the final whistle and job done for Inter they hold the lead going into the second leg of the tie yeah and what a performance it was you can see the confidence in these players the belief has been growing with every game this tie is not over yet but they must know barring a major upset they're just 90 minutes away from the final now